The member for Lowe. Mr Speaker, my question without notice is to the Prime Minister. Is the Prime Minister aware of recent research on the lack of representation of women in Parliament? And in light of that research, what is being done to ensure that women are better represented in Parliament? The Honourable Prime Minister. I've seen research by Coopers and Liobrand on women's representation in Australian parliaments. And I think uh, this report has been very broadly disseminated and many of the facts are now already known to us. The fact that across federal and state parliaments, only 16 per cent are women across all across the federal and all of the state parliaments, and only 10 per cent of members of this House representatives are women. But the report, I think, contains some other interesting and less well-known facts. In last year's federal election of women candidates, less than a quarter ran in seats which were safe or marginally safe for their party. On, on, by contrast, male candidates, more than half, 55 per cent, ran in seats which were safe or marginally safe for their party. Men were more than three times more likely to be pre-selected for safe seats than women. In an analysis of the evidence, the authors' report concluded the critical barrier for women seeking election to parliament is gaining pre-selection in winnable seats. And Mr Speaker, can I say the Labor Party agrees. And as a consequence, at our national conference, we're determined to have um, women candidates in at least 35 per cent of winnable seats by the year 2000. We adopted affirmative action in the Labor Party for two reasons, Mr way, Speaker. Guys. The first Orders is it's right left. and just. It's right and just and secondly we can't afford to lose the skills and knowledge and experience of half of our population. But we also adopted affirmative action because we believe in merit and ability. And I don't believe on any assessment of ability, Mr Speaker, I don't believe, well you might think it's double speak. Oh. Member for Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't believe uh, on any assessment of ability. The member for Gippsland. Mr. Speaker, uh, I don't believe on any assessment of ability that a situation where women make up only 10% of members of the House of Representatives equates with merit. It's a pretty tired argument. This is the one the leader of the opposition trots out. He says he says that uh, he says that affirmative action is tokenism. It's patronising. But does he believe that on any assessment of ability, the reason that only 10 per cent of the members of this House are women is because they lack merit? <coughs> does he really believe that? <laughs> does he really believe that they, they lack merit? No, he's, well, he's turned round for that one, you see. He can't say... The good, the good arguments he gives you back to him. Mr Speaker, does he believe that it is merit that makes men three times more likely to be pre-selected for safe seats? Does he really believe that? So when he gets up, when he gets up and basically says, we're not going for, we're going, he says, for mechanisms. Mechanisms. Does he really believe, does he really believe that Never it was on the basis Noah. of merit 90% of the places went to men? Because if he does believe that, Mr Speaker, he's pulling our legs, or he's pulling our legs, and being deceitful, and if he doesn't believe that, he should make clear, and that's what uh, that's what the Labor Party has committed itself to. Uh, and all you do at each doorstop, we get from you a little bit of humbug, humbug about mechanisms, about patronising and, pat and, and and tokenism, but nothing that does anything about changing the essential fact that it is on the basis of bias in the system away from women that women don't hold more than 10 per cent of the places in the House of Representatives. Now, Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker uh, that's why on this side of the House the Labor Party has chosen to change its rules to decide on affirmative action principles so that 35 per cent of the winnable seats in the, in the parliaments will go to women and uh, as a consequence of that dispensing with this humbug that the reason 90 per cent of the House is made up of men is basically because they have greater merit. Now, Mr Speaker, this is the phony argument the Leader of the Opposition hides behind every time he's asked about that. Member but I'll tell Montbury. you one thing, Mr Speaker, the women of Australia will catch up with him and catch up with him quickly. The Honourable test for you is the Crawford the test. We'll see if you Leader pass that one, mate. Opposition. The St Kevin's test, he has passed that oh, one already. Oh, the St Kevin's test.
He got full marks in it. If the Leader of the Opposition has his question, he'd better get to it or I'll invite I you was, to resume your seat. There was, there was some rather rude the interjection, member, Mr Speaker. The members on my right will all Speaker, cease and Mr Speaker, I'd like to... Um, Mr Speaker, on a very serious matter, I'd like to direct a further question to the Minister for Transport.